Good afternoon, oil traders. It is still July, uh, August 1st, 2017 at 3.21 p.m. Eastern here on the East Coast of North America. And it looks as though the bears are getting a breather today. Uh, we've fallen from a high of 50.41 uh, ahead of trading today here on the East Coast. And I've dropped as low as 48, uh, what was it, 48, um, below 48.40. Um, we've retraced back up, up above uh, 49, which is kind of why I haven't done anything. Um, I was expecting to sell one or more positions if we got to 48. And to be honest, if we had settled near the day's lows, I probably would have exited at least one short position. Uh, but where we are settling right now, I'm prepared to just wait it out. Um, we've got API news um, half an hour after markets close here on the East Coast at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. And we're sure to get some volatility, especially after the action today. Um, it's minus 2% on the price of crude today, um, or about a buck. And you can be sure that that's entirely influenced by expectations surrounding the news, um, both today and as well as tomorrow morning at 10.30 Eastern in the morning. Uh, where we're going to get the EIA inventory news. So all of this is factoring into the speculation around where is the quote-unquote fair market price for crude. Um, you know my feelings, it's all BS when it comes to news and you just play the action and right now the action is telling me to wait. Um, like I said, if we closed near 48, I would probably exit a short position probably just one uh, short position. If we ended up closer below 48, then I probably would be looking at exiting two short positions as well as adding a long um, to hedge, basically. But uh, where we are right now, just above 49, I'm not interested in doing anything really. Uh, we may still go back up. It's you know it, it's nice to think that this is the turning point and it's going to be all roses from here on out for the bears, myself included. But I've seen things go ugly real quick, and uh, if I'm wrong, it's going to hurt because this is probably one of the last times I'm going to get a chance to exit some of these shorts for a while. But you got to believe in something, and this is what I believe. I'd love to hear what you believe. You can hit me up down below on the comments forms on YouTube, or check me out on tradingjournal.ca, where you can get more information on my trades, charts, etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll talk about what happened today at 4:30 with API. And I'll, uh, yeah, until then, good luck. Cheers.